Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the UK. It's hot and sweaty. Well, it's not really hot as such. It's sticky. It's humid. It's warm. It's about 25 degrees. It's overcast. It's probably going to rain in about half an hour, so it's quite a horrible day in the UK. You know, it's it's one of them days. It's the UK. So anyway, so you've been and bought yourself a tag bar ficus. You've done really well. You've looked after it for 12 months, 18 months, but you've never really trimmed it. You've just let it grow. But you've done well. You've looked after it. It's alive. It's doing well. It looks like this. So, yeah, most people look after them really well. And they grow really well. They grow vigorous. To the point where it's... It's to the point where you can't see yourself behind it. So what do we do? I'll, I'll show you. Beginner's Guide to Tag About Ficus. It's not as hard as it looks, and it's really dead easy. And this video is probably going to be about five minutes because it's time not to be scared. We get a pair of scissors, or we get a pair of snips, and we just literally go ham on it. Ah! Right, let's get into it. So here is my tag about ficus. I purchased this one 18 months ago, possibly. And since then, I've repotted it in my mix in a new pot. Uh, I've had one major, well, one minor trim on it. And then since then, I haven't done any wiring. I haven't done any trimming. I have just let it grow ridiculously wild. As you can see, I've done what most people do when they get these trees. I just let it grow. So the only thing I've done is I've done a little root trim and then let that recover. It's still wired in. Then wires can actually come off because it's very sturdy in there. Um, the aerial roots that were low down, they've proper thickened up now. Yeah, nice little bridge over there. So yeah, so I don't really have a front or a back. Um, that's probably the back because we've got a back branch. Um, and yeah, it's uh, it's a mess. So with these, all you need to do is literally go in and cut to wherever you want it's not an issue they grow back unlike the benjaminers the ficus benjaminer that is you need to leave green on a branch so on a ficus benjaminer if i was going to cut a branch and i was going to cut this one i would have to leave green so i couldn't cut here and expect a back bud i'd have to cut here and leave at least green with these i can cut straight into dark wood into hardwood and they will cut and they will bud Anywhere along here, no problem. So that's exactly all I'm going to do. So I am just going to cut way back down in here. And it will bud. No dramas. So just get a pair of snips and just cut back in. Don't be panicking. Don't worry about it. Just, yeah, just go ham on it. So first things first, anything that grows in towards, like on any tree that we go through, we're just going to get rid of. Start by taking that out. This main branch that is super long and you just keep going and going and going. We're going to bring, I mean, we could wire this out, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to do basic cutting. I'm just going to cut right back to this leaf here. We can see it. Anything we cut to a leaf, so this leaf here I've cut, it will now shoot from so it's called directional pruning so if you're a beginner this hence beginner's guide we cut to this branch this will now start growing this way because it's directional let's get this branch here okay so we have i've got a wasp buzzing around me don't know if you can hear it so I have two leaves on this branch. I've got a left directional branch and a right directional branch. Left one here, right one here. If I snip here, just above the, the right branch, 
when it buds it will bud from the branch here and it will grow this way if I snip below that branch just here leaving the left branch the bud will grow from here and it will grow leftwards hence directional pruning so snip there grows that way snip there grows that way and that works for pretty much every ficus and it works for a lot of other trees as well uh, doesn't work for every tree um, so do your research but ficus uh, works on pretty much every ficus um, this branch here inside just gonna take that off gonna snip away that bit whoop not my own camera this branch here again I'm gonna snip back to this one so it grows out I have a branch focus this branch here I'm just gonna remove it I don't want it growing upwards so now we're growing upwards to the right and then I've got these two branches coming out and these will grow from there and there not that you can see much but there you go this one to the right I could use this this branch that comes right towards us and you can see the size of it like everything on this tree I'm gonna cut right back and again, I'm going to cut back down here. Every time I cut, I'm going to cut and I'm going to use, as I say, directional pruning. If I had a cut there, focus there, and used this, it would grow that way, which we don't want. I want it to grow this way towards us. There's a branch in the middle I'm going to remove. This branch here goes up here. I've got a let's spin the tree a little bit so we can see better. I've got a small leaf just here that's growing outwards. I will cut back to that. And then on the branch behind, I've got one growing outwards. I want to snip to there as well. Just leaves us three branches at the back so by the end of this we're going to have removed an awful lot that's all we took off so far and this tree is going to look bare but don't be scared to do it so when it grows back in all these are going to grow directionally from where we've pruned and then we're going to get a flush of backboards all down here so don't worry, you're not going to kill it. So this is what people are worried about when they get these tiger park ficus. They just let them grow and grow and grow like I have here. And I've done this purposely just to show you. So if we swim back around. So if we take this one as our back branch. Same again. What I want to do is I want to continue it to go flow out. And I want to continue it to go out this way. So we either have... One of these two branch, two leaves here, continue outwards. Now I need to put it back on my, it's fell off. There we go, so I can now spin it. There we go. So, which direction do we want this to grow in? We pick the leaf, so we've got a leaf growing this way. One growing that way and then one growing towards us. And you know what? Seeing as I've got this little branch here, I move this out of the way. I have this little branch and I have a leaf that's going to grow here outwards. I'm going to snip the branch here, there, and I'm going to keep it. And instead of growing this one here, I'm going to step it out 
and I'm going to grow a snip back here. Let's move there. And then this one is going to grow on an angle this way. So now I've got this one growing this way and then the smaller branch on the other side is going to grow slightly this direction. So if I turn it, we've got this direction diagonally and then this direction diagonally. So we've got like a V. So here and here. Yep. And again, another great big, which in itself, if you planted it, it's his own tree. So this tree's mounting up already, how much we're taking off. All these could be cuttings in themselves. We could we could plant all this and have our own forest. Yeah. Right, let's spin this. It keeps falling off. I'm gonna have to get a bigger spinner. Okay, so there we go. This back branch, I'm just gonna snip off completely. Front, take into there. Spin this back again. This middle one, I think it's going to come out completely. And then take that off. I'm just going to have to get some other snips and then eat that out completely with my concave cutters. So I'll just grab them and then we'll dig that out. Okay, concave cutters coming in. Just going to nibble on that. And we have an old dead part here. I'll just get rid of. Clean that up. Yeah, I'm just leaning further into this, and uh, I've just decided I don't want this one. I don't want this one here because I'm going to grow this now. Continue this as a leader. This will develop a pad here. This will develop a pad here. We're going to trim the background here. So that one at the back will grow that direction, growing a pad. So we'll have pad, pad, pad. That will grow into the leader. That will have a pad. That will grow as a pad. That will grow as a pad. This will grow as a pad. And then I think also on top of that, we shall remove that one. So, pad, whoops, pad, 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 leader, pad, pad at the back, pad at the front, pad at the side, pad at the front. So looking in, each one of these separate bits now, pad, pad over there, pad at the top, growing in, pad at the back, Pad, pad, pad. Yeah. So these will develop pads because we've grown this one this way. These will all bat bud so we can grow branches out here, of here. The same with these. As this grows this way, all these all these small branches should develop bat, uh, bat buds and then we will grow branches off them. 
Same on this branch, we've grown it this way and the branches will bat bud. And on this one as well, we've already started it. Yeah, okay, so that's your step one of a beginner's guide. You've got the branches all in shape. As these, co these come like this anyway, so you've already, it's 90% of them. Your first branch will already be on the, on the side here. If you've got anything on the inside branch, you want to get rid of them because you don't want them on the, con on the curves. Some of them will have them out here as well, so you'll just get rid of them. You'll have a back branch already started for you. You'll have a leader, and then you'll have another one coming up here as well. This one could potentially go in the future, but this up, or we could keep it as a brand, as a pad. And then, as I say, we'll angle it just slightly so it should probably be a pad. So we're gonna go or stay. So yeah. Don't be scared, just cut back, all the new growth will pop in. Do most of this work in the summer. So, yeah. Nice and easy beginner's guide. With these ficuses, they are bought as indoor trees. So, my recommendations, through the winter and autumn, keep them indoors. As soon as late spring comes, where the summer's at, where the summer, where the um, heat temperatures are about... 11 12 degrees constant through the evening and then over the night is at least 11 degrees keep them outside in the sunshine keep them outside at night over 11 12 degrees and then when that temperature starts dipping again back down to 11 degrees 10 degrees bring them in at night but yeah give them plenty of sunlight give them plenty of feed in the summer summer months nice and watered leave them outside in the heat and they will flush loads of growth loads of growth yeah and that'll push more growth and again as i say once it cools down it'll go back inside and there you'll keep it in a uh, nice southwestern wind south facing window if you've got one so you get as much sun through the winter if not put it under a light and it'll continue to grow keep it fed yeah so after you cut in after you've finished your cutting your tree will look something like this Uh, no, nah, that's supposed to be look like that. Uh, so yeah, when it's when you've cut it all back, it'll look like this. Don't panic; it's supposed to look like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. After a few weeks, you'll get loads of little buds around here, around here, probably down here as well, and possibly even down here. Everywhere, actually, these love to bud out. And then you can make even more decisions. It'll push out loads of buds, more growth, more branches, more leaves. Yeah, brilliant. Oh, and also, so everything I've just thrown on the floor, it doesn't matter the size of them. So all these, they are pretty thick. Just pull the bottoms of these off. Take a little bit of snips, throw them in some compost new trees for free isn't that great check out my cuttings video it's on uh, it's in my channel i'll uh, leave a link over here 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 who knows but it'll be a link over there for you check it out anyway yeah beginner's guide let it grow make sure it's healthy and then just chop it right back don't be scared you're not going to kill the tree as long as your tree is healthy enough to do it do it in the summer do it in the spring when it's nice and warm and uh yeah just make sure you feed it Give it some plenty of water don't let it dry out and uh, it'll grow right back i mean i've got a few ficus videos as uh, where we've done the wiring on it and i've done the one which one have i done i've done the other one i can't remember what i call it but it's over here and it's doing really well i should do an update on that i should do an update on that one i'll show you so we'll get a video on that one as well and show you all the new growth on that once this pushes in we'll come back to it and we'll show you how good that one looks. Anyway, beginner's guide. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Show your friends. And then don't be scared to cut onto it. Give it a go. Share, like, comment, subscribe. Do all that good stuff and I'll see you next week, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.